KCAA Radio has openings for one-hour talk shows. If you want to host a radio show, now is the time. Make KCAA your flagship station. Our rates are affordable and our services are second to none. We broadcast to a population of 5 million people. Plus, we stream and podcast on all major online audio and video systems. If you've been thinking about broadcasting a weekly radio program on Real Radio plus the Internet, contact our CEO at 281-599-9800. 281-599-9800. You can Skype your show from your home to our Redlands, California studio where our live producers and engineers are ready to work with you personally. A radio program on KCAA is the perfect work from home avocation in these stressful times. Just type kcaaradio.com into your browser to learn more about hosting a show on the best station in the nation or call our CEO for details. 281-599-9800. Well, hello to all of you from around the world. I want to thank you for joining us for another edition of Soul Liberty Today. We're we're broadcasting live from our studio right here in the nation's capital. Uh, Whether you're at home, driving, or even at work, we're always glad that you're here with us. My name is Brian Wesley Johnson, and we have such an amazing show for you today. Um, You know, today it's once again time for some good old hot astrology with our favorite astrologer coach, Sonia Francis. Um, I really love this because it's another way that we are giving you news and information that you can really use uh, and to help you get empowered and inspired to live your best life today. And so with that, it's my pleasure to welcome to Solivity Today again, Sonia Francis. Hey, Sonia, how are you? Hi, Brian, I'm great, how are you? I am doing fantastic, doing fantastic. I love the fact that we are once again talking about some hot astrology because you've got a lot to share today. Um, Before we get into all that, (laughs) before we get into all that, what's been going on in your world since we last talked? Well, um, it's been busy, uh, you know, with with the way the energies are right now, there's a lot going on. So um, I, I've been, this week has been a whirlwind of like just doing things I'm because I'm, I'm preparing for a retreat next week. So there's been a lot going on. How are you been? How have you been? Girl, it's been crazy, 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 um, but all good. All good. I've been paying attention. Been paying attention to all of the uh, things that you've been sharing, uh, especially in your email um, uh, forecast that you do each day. Highly recommend people subscribe uh, to your website at astrologercoach.com and get those daily updates because they really make a difference. Yeah, they really do. I know. I love them too, even though I write them, but I, I, it helps me as well, actually. (laughs) (laughs) So why don't we jump right on into this? Um, because there's a lot that we have to get through to today, a lot that you have to share. Um, uh, our last forecast included Mercury's second retrograde phase of the year that began on August 15th, uh, August 5th. And it ends this month on August the 28th. Highly recommend, again, that people, if you haven't listened to that show, please go to our website at soliberty.com and check it out because there's a lot of information around that. that lasts and we're in through. it right now. We're in that yeah. retrograde phase right now. Yeah. It, exactly. Exactly. We're in it right now. Um, it's important information that's going to last to the end of this month. And then there's, then there's this handoff and the handoff is per se from the planet Mercury to the dwarf planet of Pluto, where Pluto's moving back into Capricorn. 
But before we get into all that, I think people really need to understand the like what's Pluto and right. <laughs> and, and you know, yeah. I mean, what about this dwarf planet? You know, can you give us some information about that? Absolutely. Yeah, no, definitely. I'm Pluto is even though it's called a dwarf planet, it's a giant. It's a, a very powerful planet. It's the furthest out planet in the solar system. It's quite far away from from the sun, uh, but it is very much about our empowerment process here on Earth on this planet. And uh, Pluto has a very slow moving cycle because it's so far out. It's 15 to 20 years it takes to go through one zodiac sign, right? Mm. So, so that's a very long time to be moving through just one sign. And so we also call this a generational planet because Pluto is in a sign for such a long time. It almost like each generation has their own Pluto signature. Um, and I would also say that Pluto is connected to soul purpose. And mm. that is because um, it's almost like a collective spiritual process, something that's much bigger at play when we're dealing with a Pluto transit and something that's orchestrated by our soul, right? So uh, individually speaking by our soul, but also collectively speaking by the collective soul energy. Um, and so with Pluto, it's it's a wise thing to surrender to the process of Pluto when we're, especially if we're in individually speaking, having a Pluto transit, um, because it's a very powerful um, shift of transforming something, of, of moving something from, um, from a denser vibrational place to a much higher vibrational place. And wow. so if we are able to surrender to that process, we end up in a much higher vibrational place. But if we're not able to surrender, we very often feel very out of control until we let go of the things um, that we need to let go of so that we can move into that higher vibrational place. Does that make sense? Absolutely. And it's, and again, you know, I think that one thing that I'm learning uh, through with you about astrology, more from this energetic spiritual kind of place, is the validation that, listen, everybody, the universe does not conspire against us. No, it doesn't quite do contrary, that. quite on the contrary. It, it <laughs> it's is the reverse. It's right, the reverse. It's, it's trans conspiring to to help you move to that higher place, to that place of empowerment. But of course, as right. human beings, we have conditioning, we have habits. And so we like to we, we like to sort of hold on to some of the things that we that we're used to or that we like. And um, and sometimes we have as human beings, we have experiences and traumas and fears that also hold us back from being fully empowered in within right. ourselves. And so that's right. part of Pluto's job is to help us let go of some of those places where we feel disempowered. So anything right. that we're holding on to that's like toxic or disempowering in the name of self-protection or wanting to be prepared or not wanting to feel disempowered down the road, that's saying to ourselves and to the rest of the universe, I am not powerful, I cannot handle my life. And that is always a false assumption and a false statement because each one of us is very powerful and we can all handle our lives. We just sometimes get caught in, you know, protecting ourselves and, and getting into fearful places. And that's human, right? I mean, that's a part of the human journey too. But Pluto right. invites us to to shift that, right? Right. And right. and to be to be authentic uh within owning all of who we are, you know. And and I like that. I like that a lot because again, the universe is actually trying to help us move forward, is trying to help us grow. Absolutely. And here is a is a perfect example of that with this astrology event that's happening where the energy is there to help propel us beyond what I believe the universe is kind of telling us our limitations, right? What self-imposed limitations are we putting on ourselves in this moment? Yes, and absolutely. so mm -hmm. um, it, 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 this is really, really an exciting time. Yeah. What else about Pluto do we need to know? Well, 
Pluto is also associated with shadow issues, shadow aspects. So the darker side of ourselves or, or of our collective. Um, and, and the reason why it's important for us to see it and understand that and integrate these shadow aspects is because it creates wholeness and uh, we are more authentic and more aware uh, of all of what's available to us, the good, the bad and the ugly, I like to call it. Um, and that fe that is more empowering because when we're not able to integrate these parts of ourselves, whether that's individually or collectively speaking, we tend to um, we tend to live from an unconscious place, and then and these unconscious parts then sort of like rule rule our life instead of us owning them and consciously moving in the direction that we want to be moving it's much more empowering so being mm -hmm. conscious about where we feel disempowered helps us to not give our power away anymore to circumstances other people um and then also it's it's very much about emotional authenticity as well right because pluto oh, is wow. very much connected to our feeling body too so it it requires that we surrender to this process of empowerment that we trust that process um again by letting go of what's toxic or what's what's not authentic in our lives versus yeah. you know grabbing power from the outside in instead of from right. the inside out right so right when we're when we're not trusting that we are powerful people and that we're part of that we're capable of of fully living our life from a powerful place we tend to want to grab power from the outside towards us um, um and so um wow. and that's that's fear based of course that's because we don't right. believe that we have the power and then of course fear corrupts us because fear is not it's it does, it's not authentic it's not true it's not um it's not who we are so we are then living from a from a false uh, belief or from a false place and instead of like being open and authentic and and you know being coming from a place that is that is motivated by by truth and by authenticity right um right. so um so it's just something to be aware of right i mean a lot of people um, don't check in with the, with themselves very often. Is this is this motivated by fear? What I'm doing right now, or is this motivated by me being in my space of love and peace and power? Right. Right. Um, but when we can do that, if we can check in with our motivations for things, Pluto has a lot to do with our motivations. You know are they are they motivations from a from a heart-centered open authentic place or are they motivations mm -hmm. that come from that from that fear of from that place of like tension and fear and like you know like protecting and keep this away from me and like you know let me let me stay okay you know um so we have to check in you know where how are we operating right, right. and that's very important with pluto wow. we need to see it wow so a lot around there's a whole lot here around us becoming more self-aware. Yes, definitely. And in that self-aware, heightening our level of EQ, emotional awareness. Yes. But but and and also within that, connecting with those fears and limitations that are holding us back from becoming yes. fully empowered. Yeah, and of course, it, that's why a Pluto process sometimes is not super comfortable because it will it will show us what's right. there that needs to be transformed it will right. show us all the darkness it will show us the disempowerment and this is why you know the last um 15 years or so we've been very much confronted with that pluto energy collectively because pluto has been moving through capricorn for quite a long time and we'll talk about that in the next sequence sec sec segment but um okay. but it it definitely has been bringing up a lot of stuff for us collectively that has been showing us like this is this is not functioning well this is not working well what we're doing here as a society right or as a you know in terms of our structures our hierarchies in terms yeah. of the governments in terms of the you know the way people live you know um so we 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 sort of like 
have to see it first before we can transform it, right? Before before we can shift it. Um, and the seeing, the initial seeing it is sometimes uh, difficult and painful because we're like, oh no, what's this? <laughs> oh my like, God. This is my not God. good, you know? Oh, this is crazy. Yeah. All right. So we set the scene. I love it. So why don't we take a break? Because yeah. everyone in, in the next segment, what we're going to do is Sonia is going to go deeper into what this period is all about this Pluto going into Capricorn, because I'm excited to know about it too. So stay right here and we'll be back with more of Solivity today in just a second. Solivity today is brought to you by Happy Travelers Tours and Old Vine Wine Tours. Ready to embark on a wine-filled adventure? Book your luxury wine tour today with Old Vine Wine Tours and experience the unparalleled beauty and flavors of Sonoma, Napa, and Lake Counties. Old Vine Wine Tours offers transportation for the most amazing experiences in the Sonoma Valley, Santa Rosa, Healdsburg, and all of Sonoma County, as well as the Napa Valley and Clear Lake wineries of Lake County. From boutique tastings to bridal party transportation, we have you covered. Go to Old Vine Wine Tours forward slash wine in the weeds for more information. Don't forget to mention promo code SOLIVITY to get 10% off either a culture or wine tour. Book your adventure today. What if you could make a free phone call and reduce your car payment by as much as $83 a month? Right now, you could be paying as high as 20% interest. Your new interest rate could be reduced to as low as 2.48%. You can refinance any existing car loan or leased car and save money every month. Take five minutes of your time right now. Make this free phone call and learn how to save hundreds of dollars a year by refinancing your existing car loan. Dial 877. 877- 511-7277 now. That's 877-511-7277. The following is a paid advertisement from Premium Weight Loss Peptides. Welcome to Premium Weight Loss Peptide, your source for compounded semaglutide weight loss medication. At Control Your Weight Dot today, we offer the same active ingredients as FDA-approved drugs like Wigovi and Ozempic, but conveniently dispensed as a dissolvable under the tongue. No more injections, no more pills to swallow. And with our monthly membership, your medication, shipping, and telehealth-related weight loss services are all included. The statements made regarding these products have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. The efficacy of these products has not been confirmed by FDA-approved research. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Start your weight loss journey today. Visit us at controlyourweight.today or scan the QR code. All right, we are back here with more of Solivity Today, uh, where we are talking with Sonia Francis about hot astrology. Um, Sonia... I am so glad that you're, again, I'm so glad you're here today. Uh, We were trying to get some audio issues kind of taken care of um, in the meantime, (laughs) while we were talking offline. Um, Yep. This period of Pluto going into Capricorn is so very important. Yes. Can you tell us why it's important? Yes. So the reason why this is very important is because this is the last time that Pluto will move back into Capricorn um, before it moves forward into Aquarius for the next 20 years. And Pluto moved into Capricorn for the first time in 2008. And that coincides with uh, the global financial crisis, the some of the inadequate regulations that were going on at that time, um, dishonesty, greed, uh, the mortgage crash, uh, bank bailouts, Bernie Madoff, Ponzi scream, and all those things were going on right around that time. And um, Pluto stayed in Capricorn until March of 2023, and then moved back into Capricorn again, June 2023 until January 2024. And now this will be the very, very last time for Pluto to move back into Capricorn from September 1st until November 19th, 2024, just in time for the U.S. elections, 
And so uh, Pluto in Capricorn is sort of like the last hurrah uh, with this sign because it's only going to be in there now for less than three months, right? Wow. Uh, before it leaves completely for another 200 and uh, something, 260 years or so, right? So um, Capricorn's lesson uh with uh, when pluto is is in capricorn capricorn's lesson is around agency authority mm -hmm. accountability and all of that of course got super intensified in 2020 when we had a huge planetary lineup in capricorn with pluto included and wow. so things got things got pretty intense in 2020 as we all know with all those planets <laughs> in capricorn right. and so we are invited there with with Pluto and Capricorn. We're invited to to not look outside of ourselves for approval or for validation, but to make choices that are based on what's best for all concerned, but to take um, responsibility ourselves for for how we show up, how we respond to life, how we are doing life. Right. So we become a very important part of society, each individual needs to be responsible for what we're creating rather right. than giving our power away to governments or big businesses or people in power that are you know that are that are doing whatever they want to be doing right so right. um so it's it's a very powerful placement you know for pluto in um in capricorn because it affects us on a, such a big scale it affects wow all of society and all social structures that we have built and that we've lived in for so so long right and the transformation that pluto wants us to to have is to feel empowered within those social structures to not wow. to not have governments or social structures in place that are disempowering to societies disempowering to people does that make sense oh man yeah I mean, there's this, again, you know, I tell, you know, when we talk about the universe and spirituality and that kind of thing, practical, right? In a practical sense, there's this dance, right? Where we know yeah. that we are all part of the universe. We all are like connected and that kind of thing. But we also have our own individual experience of that and our own individual journey and lessons and all that kind of stuff. And so here's how this is playing out, right? I mean, basically what you're, what you're giving to us and what Pluto is telling us is, listen, yes, we're all connected and all that kind of thing, but you have your own responsibilities that you have to... Absolutely take in and do and 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 move forward with because of the fact that we're individuals in this collective right right did i get it yeah okay. absolutely yeah yeah absolutely and you know while while pluto is in capricorn it really exposes you know all those shadow parts right like it exposes it brings to the forefront the shadow sides of government of big businesses of institutions that are um you know that are want to grab the power instead of um empowering you know right. the collective so right. so we're seeing uh, that's why that's why it seems as though the last 15 years that there's been so much that's come to the forefront that seemed kind of so kind of ugly and 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 so intense um yeah. around uh, our social structures and our governments and our our society because um because we need to see what's actually going on if we can't right. see it how are we going to be able to shift it each each one of us right because e each one of us is part of the collective so each one of us we need to do our part and um on a personal level you know pluto mm -hmm. and capricorn does ask us to sort of reevaluate our goals and um measure for success you know how do we measure our own success how do we measure what we achieve and then also to recognize our own limitations because capricorn is very much about um you know being realistic about what the limitations are on a physical level because capricorn is very much connected to the physical world so recognizing our limitations and then also reclaiming our power 
you know, to not give our power away to our outer circumstances or, or other people. Right. Makes sense to me. That makes sense yeah. to me. I mean, it makes a and lot a of process. sense. It's a process, yeah. right? I mean, that's right. why it moves right. so slowly. That's why it takes 15 to 20 years for, for Pluto to move through one sign because it's, it's a, it's a process that, that starts with, you know, becoming aware at first, and then you have to slowly integrate what you're seeing and what you're experiencing, whether that's in your own world or outside, you know, in, in the world. Um, and then shifts happen, happen slowly, but, but they are, they are powerful shifts. Once they do happen, they are, they're very powerful. Okay. I like it. I like it. It makes a whole lot of sense to me. And I know that I think people out there are kind of like, hmm, 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 like, wow, okay, okay. Because again, I mean, it's, this is this individual experience that, we, that we're going through and that we have the power, right, individually to change our lives, which then collectively changes the world around us, right? Not the opposite. We can't be waiting for the world to change so that we yes. can have a better life. It's the opposite and, of that. Yes, L and that's what Pluto in Capricorn is about. It's about it's about owning your power and and being your own authority figure to know what works, what doesn't work. What do you what do you want to align yourself with? What do you not want to align yourself with? To take responsibility, you know, that you are an in, in, intrinsic part of society that that has active say, right? I, I love it. I love it. Listen, you've got more to talk about when it comes to this yes. and you want you're going to go into a little bit more detail specific yes. uh, specifically everyone what's going to be happening in September, October and then halfway through the month of November because this is going to be happening during all this period of time. So stick right yes. here. We'll be back with more of Solivity today in just a second. Are you a business owner looking to expand your reach and revenue to a perfect community? Being a Sulivity Today radio sponsor puts your business in front of hundreds of thousands of customers every week. And it's affordable too. For about the cost of a cup of coffee and snack each day, you can reach ideal people looking for your product or service. Sulivity Today is a weekly, hour-long program that dives into the heart of what matters most in our lives, the people, places, and topics that shape our world. It's the perfect place for your business to shine. Go to Solivity.com forward slash Solivity Today to learn how you can expand your business marketplace by becoming a Solivity Today radio show sponsor. And for a limited time, special rates are being offered, so don't delay. Addiction is an epidemic. Millions are struggling and over a hundred lives are lost each day. Are you next? At Better Addiction Care, we understand the devastating impact of drug and alcohol addiction. Our network of treatment centers are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's time to fix the pieces addiction has destroyed. Our network of treatment centers offer detox, therapy, counseling, private luxurious centers, physical fitness, chef prepared meals, aftercare and your insurance may cover up to 100 percent of costs only you can put an end to your addiction it's time to make the life-changing call and get the help you need call now and in just minutes you could be on your way to a drug and alcohol free life the call is free and confidential and there is no obligation visit betteraddictioncare.com or call call 855-246-4024 that's 855-246-4024 Hey, we're back here with Solivity today. We're talking with astrologer coach Sonia Francis about the forecast for the next 30 days, which is all about Pluto as it briefly moves back into Capricorn. Whoa, this is some good stuff. This is some good <laughs> stuff, Sonia. Pluto is always um, good. Pluto is deep. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sonia, this event will take place over two and a half months i mean from yep. the first of september all the way until the middle of november yep, like right now. so what can we expect starting in september so, and then october and, and whatever 
Yeah. So in a sense, it's almost like we're moving back into something that we've already experienced before. Um, we've, we've, it's sort of like we're moving to a place where, where we're trying to finish something up. We're trying to complete something that maybe we, we were already doing last year in 2023 from June. 2023 until January of 2024. Um, the energetics will, will be very similar to that time. So anything that we've been, that we remember from that time that we've been doing is maybe something we now need to come back to. And one of the primary spiritual teachings of Capricorn is that we cannot always alter our circumstances, but we can always choose how we want to respond to something that's occurring in our lives. So becoming responsible, right? Mm. Response able is, it, and that's a really big part of that, uh, that journey is to learn how do we take a, a, a pause and then respond to what we're able to respond to, right? Gotcha. Um, and, and become more mature. It's about maturity. It's about knowing that life doesn't always give us strawberries, you know, sometimes life <laughs> gives us lemons, you know. And so in, in order to and to be OK with that and to 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 not uh, go into, you know, depression about, you know, receiving a lemon, but to go, oh, this is a lemon, you know, I will do what it takes to make lemonade, uh, you know, right. or I will do what I need to do to to, to get through this phase so I can have strawberries again, right? right. And so uh, in order to have a, a sort of like to respond in a healthy and responsible way, we need to learn about self-care. So mm. Pluto always, because Pluto is so has so much focus on Capricorn, there's so much energy towards, you know, achieving, accomplishing, doing better in our lives and, and becoming the people that we want to become um, and, but in order to be that person, you have to first understand how you can take care of yourself and how you, uh, can emotionally self-regulate, right? So emotional self-regulation is really, really important with Pluto and Capricorn. And I also like to call it self-soothing, you know, um, mm. you know, like how, when you soothe a baby, when a baby's upset. You know, like you want to be able to self-soothe yourself where you can really be there for yourself when, um, you know, things feel a little bit out of control or when things feel a little bit upsetting or when you get really, really stressed in life because you're focusing so much on achieving something or getting moving forward with what you're doing. And, you know, that might cause you a lot of stress and tension and, and pressure and so when we experience all of that, it's very important to how can we balance that out with some self care? How can we balance that out with some self soothing, getting plenty of rest, you know, taking care of ourselves really well. And all of that requires response, being responsible about how you show up for yourself, how you show up for life or what you what you're doing in life right mm -hmm. so so the next two and a half months are really very much about us getting the last chance you know to really get good at this before pluto moves into aquarius again uh, after november 19th and we'll settle into that place for pretty much permanently until 2044 right so that's wow. a really long time Wow. Um, wow. So we, we, we want to just be until then, we want to learn how can we create a society of self responsible individuals? And obviously, you have no control over what other people are doing and how they're doing right. it. Some people might not be able to get there in the, in the next two and a half months. But you, Which is okay. you can do your you can do your own work um, right. as an individual. And you can maybe inspire other people to do their work if if you're showing if you're being an example right you, we want to be an example for other people to show this is possible you can be um self responsible and you can you can you can sort of like um achieve things as well as take care of yourself at the same time i like it i like it i like it all right. All right, Miss Sonia. That's the task. 
<laughs> That's the task. That's the task. But you have even more to talk about when it comes to this time. Um, so we're going to take a quick break. And yeah. then you're going to get into what you're going to talk about in terms of each sign, what signs are going to yes. be, you know, impacted. most affected by this time. Everybody's affected, but there's certain signs that are going to be impacted a little bit more. So listen, yes. we're going to take this quick break and we'll be back with more of Solivity today in just a second. Attention timeshare owners. This is an urgent consumer alert from the Timeshare Exit Hotline, a national company specializing in helping consumers legally get out of their expensive timeshare contracts. We're offering you a way to legally get rid of your timeshare. So if you're fed up with the maintenance fees that keep on coming and want to learn if you can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, call today. Call the number on your screen today. It's a free call. Dial 877-798-5991 today. That's 877-798-5991. The following is a paid advertisement from Premium Weight Loss Peptides. Welcome to Premium Weight Loss Peptide, your source for compounded semaglutide weight loss medication. At Control Your Weight Dot today, we offer the same active ingredients as FDA-approved drugs like Wigovi and Ozempic, but conveniently dispensed as a dissolvable under the tongue. No more injections, no more pills to swallow. And with our monthly membership, your medication, shipping, and telehealth-related weight loss services are all included. The statements made regarding these products have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. The efficacy of these products has not been confirmed by FDA-approved research. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Start your weight loss journey today. Visit us at controlyourweight.today or scan the QR code. If you're living with diabetes and using insulin, you know the pain of pricking your fingers over and over again. By wearing a small device called a continuous glucose monitor or CGM, you can reduce the pain of pricking your fingers right away. If you use insulin daily, you might be eligible to get your own continuous glucose monitor. So call the U.S. Med Diabetic Health Hotline today and learn about the latest CGM technology. Not only can a CGM immediately reduce pain, it's accurate, easy to use, and helps you make better diabetes treatment decisions. And if you have Medicare or private insurance, you can see if you qualify for a CGM at little or no out-of-pocket cost. We'll also provide free shipping of your new CGM and we'll bill your insurance company for you. If you use insulin daily, you might be eligible to get your own continuous glucose monitor. So call the U.S. Med Diabetic Health Hotline to see if you qualify for a CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Dial 855-486-4553 today. That's 855-486-4553. Hey, welcome back to Solivity Today, and we're talking with astrologer coach Sonia Francis. Um, <laughs> you know, this has been all great stuff. I mean, I, I'm again, every time we're together, I learn so much from you about, uh, about just what's happening and things I need to pay attention to spiritually, but also based in astrologer, the astrology stuff that you're talking about. But with this forecast, all signs are affected, but there's signs that are going to be more impacted than others. <laughs> what are those signs? Absolutely, yeah. So um, uh, there's always a sign that is connected to a planet and Pluto rules Scorpio. And therefore, anybody who is a Scorpio sun sign or rising sign or moon sign will definitely feel the impact of Pluto shifting back into Capricorn, a lot more than other signs. Um, so for Scorpios, I would say it's going to be very important to really do that work, that Pluto work um, that we talked about with with Capricorn to to really, you know, tune into their own authority to really make sure that they're 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 living their passion, that they're that they're following their sole purpose, that they're surrendering to something that can uh, that can shift their um, uh, their connection with with career or their connection with what they want to be doing out there in society um and um 
The other signs that are also going to be impacted, of course, since Pluto is moving through Capricorn, will be Capricorn, right? Um, especially someone who is born in the much later, later degree of Capricorn. So uh, people who are born in, um, in late January uh, or early, I should say mid, mid to late January will be more impacted. Uh, by by this Pluto transit. And then also the other signs that are also impacted will be Cancer, Aries and Libra. Because wow. um, because these these signs, they're all sort of like Cancer is opposite Capricorn and then Aries is opposite Libra. And it's the way they're uh, that they're all making aspects to each other. That's that's why Pluto is going to be more impacting those signs. And um, the lesson is really, uh, you know, for, for most of these signs will be to to elevate something, to shift something into a higher vibrational state, right? With themselves, with their work, with society. So, um, so it's really about learning how to uh, how to work with that with that energy and 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 wrap something up that has started, you know, or or that has happened in 2023 between June and uh, and the end of the year of 2023. Nice, 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 nice. Wow. And again, if if you know your chart, like I know my yeah. chart now, if you have any one of those signs in certain places, you're yes. still going to be impacted more than other people are. So it's important yeah. that you know what you know I, most people know what their sun sign is um some people may know what their rising sign or ascendant sign is yes. some people may know what their moon sign is but there's other pieces that are there that you also need mm -hmm. to know um so if you're feeling this period really strongly more than likely you're you know and your and your sun sign isn't one of those signs you probably have one of the signs that Sonia is talking about in your yeah. chart somewhere. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, no, you will. Like, like even if you have like the moon nodes or, or Mars or Venus or Mercury in, in any of these signs, it, it, if Pluto, if Pluto meets with one of your planets, whether that's a personal planet or even, even a, a, a collective planet or a social planet, you will you will feel the energy much stronger than than if it's not connecting to your own personal chart at all. That's for wow. sure. Wow! 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 This has been great. Oh man, yeah. I love this. I love this so much. I have so much fun learning about what's happening in the stars and planets and that kind of thing and how it relates to us in the way that you're doing it, Sonia. I mean, it, 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 this is not like the dime store astrology kind of forecast that you get like online. It's much deeper than that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But you're, you're not welcome. done yet, but you're not done because you have something special to share with us after we come back uh, with from this yeah. break, something that's happening uh, actually next week that's really really special and so everyone yeah. stay right here we got more of solidity today and Sonia's got a special gift from the heart that she's going to share so we'll be right back in just a second so liberty today is brought to you by happy travelers tours and old vine wine tours Ready to embark on a wine-filled adventure? Book your luxury wine tour today with Old Vine Wine Tours and experience the unparalleled beauty and flavors of Sonoma, Napa, and Lake Counties. Old Vine Wine Tours offers transportation for the most amazing experiences in the Sonoma Valley, Santa Rosa, Healdsburg, and all of Sonoma County, as well as the Napa Valley and Clear Lake wineries of Lake County. From boutique tastings to bridal party transportation, we have you covered. Go to Old Vine Wine Tours forward slash wine in the weeds for more information. Don't forget to mention promo code SOLIVITY to get 10% off either a culture or wine tour. Book your adventure today. If you're living with diabetes and using insulin, you know the pain of pricking your fingers over and over again. By wearing a small device called a continuous glucose monitor or CGM, you can reduce the pain of pricking your fingers right away. 
If you use insulin daily, you might be eligible to get your own continuous glucose monitor. So call the U.S. Med Diabetic Health Hotline today and learn about the latest CGM technology. Not only can a CGM immediately reduce pain, it's accurate, easy to use, and helps you make better diabetes treatment decisions. And if you have Medicare or private insurance, you can see if you qualify for a CGM at little or no out-of-pocket cost. We'll also provide free shipping of your new CGM, and we'll bill your insurance company for you. If you use insulin daily, you might be eligible to get your own continuous glucose monitor. So call the U.S. Med Diabetic Health Hotline to see if you qualify for a CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Dial 855-486-4553 today. That's 855-486-4553. Hey, we're back here with more on Solivity today. Hey, Sonia, why don't we get to this special gift from the heart that uh, you're going to be sharing uh, and be being part of next week? Um, it's called the Awaken You Unleashed. It's master classes that are going to be going on yes. all week long. Tell us about this fantastic event. Yes, it's it's a six day retreat, and it's absolutely free to join. And I'm wow. so thrilled that part of this huge uh, happening with 20, there's going to be 25 speakers, 25 of us will be talking about uh, all kinds of beautiful things uh, around uh, 5D consciousness, personal evolution, healing the planet, healing our collective awakening our our collective and awakening ourselves and and how we can how we can make that shift happen right so it's really about individuals uh sharing something that can really support all of us and that can help us move to that next level that we all want to be moving towards um ideally speaking right so um i will be doing a talk uh next wednesday um, on the 21st that will be available via the via the retreat um, uh, about Pluto as well. So, uh, but this, wow. this talk will actually be about the next phase of Pluto. So once Pluto moves back into Aquarius uh, on November 19th, it will stay in Aquarius until 2044. So this is really sort of like, this is a new era that we're stepping into and that we have been sort of dabbling with already for a little bit. So that's what I'll be talking about, what to expect uh, over the next 20 years. And um, and yeah, there's there's some really fantastic speakers uh, giving lots of beautiful things. And 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 like I said, it's free, so feel free to uh, to join us. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. And to register for that, we've made it really easy for everybody. Uh, just go to solivity.com, go to our website, and right there on the front page is going to be Sonia's fantastic retreat that she's doing with other people, uh, which is a powerful six-day uh, virtual retreat. It's absolutely free. There's no cost for it. So, you know, I'm expecting everybody to go to this and check it out. Awaken You Unleash. Master classes on spirit, self, and the quantum revolution. 25 incredible speakers over six days from August 19th to 24th. Register today and you can join in on all the f- amazing fun. Um, yes. Sonia, thank you. Thank you for sharing your, your love and light with us as always. <laughs> um, You're welcome. Um, important, important, very important stuff that you're sharing. Again, um, especially during this time, because as you said, uh, Pluto doesn't move quick through stuff. It moves slowly and methodically. And that's why, though it's a dwarf planet, it's a very mighty force uh, in our lives. And that this time is really about empowering ourselves through self-awareness. And, 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 you know, that's what I'm kind of getting the theme Definitely. And so do so do that work. Also, I think that if people want to go deeper into what this means, I highly recommend that they go to you at astrologercoach.com and do a reading with you. Uh, because that will put a lot more meat on the bones per se of 
understanding how their lives are related to this moment in time and you can you people can ask you questions and they and yeah. you can tell them and give them more details around how to navigate through this stuff Absolutely. because Absolutely. just want to let people know you're not alone i mean that's what solidity is all about right that yeah you're not and, alone. and it shows you have resources. us that there yeah okay. and it also shows us that there's a connection between the the universe and ourselves right that that nothing right. happens in a vacuum you know that there there is a there's an understanding that we're collaborating, you know, you're always collaborating with the universe and with, with all of life, you know, right. And I think that's right. very beautiful. Oh. Thank you again. Thank you again. This is, I mean, this is great. This is great. Um, mm -hmm. So thank you for being here. Listen, uh, we're running okay. out of time. Just got a couple of quick things to say to everyone before they get out of here. Listen, as always, we are on social media. We're on all the major platforms. Just do a, a search for Soul Liberty, and you're going to find us. They're gonna, we're going to pop up, and then you can watch, like, some of these shows will be available on those streams. Uh, we'll also have, like, tips and, and other things. But you can also find us on podcast, on your major podcast provider. So, again, do a search for Soul Liberty today. We'll come up, and you can take us with us. Take take us with you wherever you go. Also, just want to remind you about this fantastic opportunity uh, from August 19th through the 24th, uh, the Awaken You Unleash Masterclasses, a free, I said free, six-day virtual conference. Just go to solivity.com and you'll find information there, right there on our front page, on our homepage there. Um, also, to remind you that, as I said before, go check out our website. Um, you know, we've got great inspiration, um, including a fantastic uh, course that's being offered by world-renowned Mark Mancola, uh, the whole health healing system curriculum uh, classes begin on Monday, September 30th. Uh, we have a payment plan that's available until the end of this month uh, so that if you don't have, you know, the resources to pay all of the uh, registration fee, you can pay half now and half later. So we've got a couple of different options for you. But this course is phenomenal. It, it, it's all about combining uh, Eastern philosophies of medicine and health and wellness and bringing that forward into the day for a new uh, revolution of how we treat our bodies and our minds and our souls. Also, there's some other great stories there as well, including one from our own D'Angelo Thompson uh, that's about Shuler Brown, who's the queen of Mandala. So go check that out as well. Listen, I'm running out of time. I just want to thank you for joining us for this edition of Soul Liberty Today. Uh, this is how we do it on our show, where we are America's choice for, for empowering conversations that lead to even more great conversations with people around the world. Um, this is all about inspiring you to live your best life today through your passion and your purpose. So keep working that, everybody, because we want you to live a high-quality life today. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Are you a business owner looking to expand your reach and revenue to a perfect community? Being a Sulivity Today radio sponsor puts your business in front of hundreds of thousands of customers every week. And it's affordable too. For about the cost of a cup of coffee and snack each day, you can reach ideal people looking for your product or service. 
Solivity Today is a weekly, hour-long program that dives into the heart of what matters most in our lives, the people, places, and topics that shape our world. It's the perfect place for your business to shine. Go to solivity.com forward slash solivity today to learn how you can expand your business marketplace by becoming a Solivity Today radio show sponsor. And for a limited time, special rates are being offered, so don't delay. San Bernardino, Loma Linda, Rialto listens to KCAA radio. There's nothing better than turning.